Hi, my name is Rebecca Hope from Block News and we are talking today with Miguel Caballero from Tutelas in Spain, in Madrid. Welcome. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thanks for having me there. It's really good to have you here and to learn about your amazing platform for education in a collaborative way, Tutelas. Tell us a little bit about Tutelas and where it all started. Okay, so uh, we started just uh, six years ago. We are a six years old company. Uh, we started in 2013 and we are a collaborative educational platform uh, based on video experiences. So we put together teachers with the students uh, through video courses. We started with a classical model from an educational point of view. I mean, if you are a student and you want to learn something, you have to pay. And we developed uh, during last year uh, a decentralized platform, which is tutelus.io. And this is a platform with a very crazy business model where we pay users for learning. So we are trying to change this industry. We think educational industry is one of the oldest uh, industries in the world. It never changed. We use the same methods that you know, 400 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, with Tutelos.io, we try to make things completely different and empowering people through education. Okay, so tell us a bit about the design of um, the structure of the new website that you've created, the blockchain. Yes, um, we, we, we know in the industry, in the educational industry, all kind of platforms uh, share the same kind of problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, education is not, uh, or learning better, is not a very uh, attractive thing uh, to do. I prefer to stay with you, Rebecca, with my kids, with my friends, or making a, you know, watching a Netflix or HBO or whatever. Mm -hmm. I prefer this kind of activities than being studying. So the recurring uh, we have in the educational platforms is uh, very low. Uh, students start very motivated to study whatever, oh, but yes. after one month, three mm -hmm. months, one year, you are fed up and you don't come back to the platform. Mm -hmm. So this is a real problem we share in the industry. What about if we could change this status quo and we had a model where people uh, were absolutely crazy for learning? So there is nothing more motivated for people than the money. So we created a new business model where we can reward students in tokens for learning. So the more you learn as a student, the more activity you generate in the platform, the more tokens you get. That's amazing. That is firstly, that's amazing. So from my understanding, um, it sounds like it's a hybrid of kind of Udemy, which is a video course a learning website, and um, LinkedIn, because you're explaining that now, now the learners can also get rewarded, they can get points, right? And then they can be hired, they can be searched for. That yes, good? that's the point. Yes, exactly, Rebecca. We combine these two, two kinds of... Um, verticals in the industry education, okay? So we have content, we have a lot of content. In the past, we were working with Tutelus.com only in the Spanish-speaking world. Of mm -hmm. course, Tutelus.io is worldwide in 12 different languages. But in the past, we hold, for example, more than 130K active courses. So we have a lot of content. We, you can study whatever you can imagine to tell us. The difference is that we get rewards to students depending on the activity they generate. So you, as a student, um, get our STUT token, okay? So, so, so that's a STUT token. You've created your yeah. own STUT token, okay? Yeah, we have, we have two kinds of tokens. Uh, the internal token mm -hmm. uh, is called the STUT. This is a measure of relevance of the knowledge you are getting in the course you are doing, all right? Okay. So if you are making a course of blockchain, for example, yes. you get a lot of stood, a lot of relevance in blockchain. Okay. And after you have other token, which is the toot, and this is a liquid token. This is a token that you can buy or you can sell. But the stood, as it's a measure of relevance, you cannot buy your knowledge. You can uh, get it uh, with your effort, right. but you cannot buy or sell, okay? So you get a lot of 
stood, you get a lot of relevance, and you decide as a user what you want to do with your relevance. We have users that wants to trade this relevance for tools, for the liquid token, and we have other users that prefer to hold this relevance, uh, you know, to become someone influencer in any kind of skill they want to empower. So if you are one of these second kind of users, maybe you can get a job through to Telus because uh, exactly we work with companies that are looking for hiring people. So if I'm a company looking for hiring people with a lot of knowledge in mm-hmm. blockchain, Solidity, yes. or whatever, I can go to the Telus and I can hire them. So uh, yes, we have a revenue share model even with the students who decided to hold the relevance and they can uh, earn more money in the long term that if you decided in the past to trade your relevant for tokens. So we have users that want to earn money in the short term, mm-hmm. so they always trade the relevance for mm-hmm. the to- token, and we have other users that want to earn more money in the long term uh, and looking for a better job. So basically this is a way of keeping the students motivated and like you said, that's a, that is a huge problem. As a lot of students start their journey really excited, I want to learn, and then um, they kind of die off and they need multiple means of stimulation. And I think the token is a great, a great way to reward them for their efforts and keep them coming back. So tell us a bit about the, um, the design, why you chose to go the blockchain route and how that, that is now currently structured from a technical perspective. Okay. So, uh, yes, uh, we, if we wanted to reward students uh, only that, we, you know, we didn't need to uh, make it in over the blockchain. Mm-hmm. We could use any kind of gamification method. There yes. are thousands of methods and companies and services, okay? But this is a second part of this episode, and this is about uh, governance. So we, as a centralized platform, until now, okay, we have to decide of, of all the things that happen in the platform. And this is something crazy, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, we have to decide which courses should be approved or re- rejected, okay? Mm-hmm. So each time we have more courses, more volume, and more people trying to publish course. What about if tomorrow we start to publish courses in 12 different languages? We have to multiply the teams by 12 because we need... Yes. A lot of people that knows, you know, in any kind of languages, the things that they, uh, we want to approve or reject. So it would be, or better, wouldn't be easier to have users mm-hmm. with a lot of relevance in different skills and languages that will be the ones to decide how kind of courses should uh, we approve or reject. So to do it, we need to, uh, to have a decentralized model where people and get a lot of relevance and because of that they have the skills or the rights to approve or reject courses. So to be able to do it, a decentralized model mm-hmm. where governance is on people, we need to do it in the blockchain. All right. right. So um, does it work then that if you get a video course, for example, it goes through this a decentralized system, people vote on it or reward it, and based on that it, it gets decided where, whether it's on the actual website. Yes, okay. yes. So it's a, a, a more fair decision because, for example, uh, my team and myself as a platform, we don't know of everything. I don't know if this new JavaScript course is good or bad because yes. I'm not a JavaScript expert. But maybe we have a lot of JavaScript wow. experts with a lot of relevance. It's more fair, you know, yes. uh, to have these kind of decisions in the community. So it takes yeah. a lot of pressure off you then, and it allows the people to decide what a good course is and what a bad course is, um, which yeah. is great. And then tell us about what is the vision for the future? Where are you at now, and where would you like to be in two to five years from now? Okay. Um, we think, uh, as I told you before, that educational industry is over. Uh, it has to change completely. Mm-hmm. Uh, until now, we didn't get any kind of internet business models uh, being able to do that. So we believe in the future, our vision in five years is that we'll have a completely different educational system based on people, based on empowering people, and based on a much more motivated system, platforms like the Telus. We want to reach 
100 million people during the next three years, mm -hmm. and we are working a lot um, in underprivileged countries mm -hmm. and with underprivileged people in privileged countries to be able to reach them. Why? Because with this kind of uh, business model, we can let people to earn money in studying. Right. So this is something crazy, and we can leave, we can help people to leave poverty through education. Mm -hmm. You know. So at the same time, we have more people in the platform helping other people. We have at the same time more people more motivated. These people will be buying more in the platform, so the revenues will get will be higher. So we we will be able to give more scholarships to people to let them to study free. So we are creating a new economy model based on a new kind of education. And this is the way we want to go. Right, okay. So what have you seen so far? Um, when, when exactly did you launch the um, blockchain website? We, uh, we developed the first block, because we started to work with Ethereum mm -hmm. last year in September, okay? So we developed the token over Ethereum in September of last year, okay? Uh, we were the first company worldwide announcing this uh, January yes. that we left Ethereum in favor of NEM. Okay, we use the NEM blockchain because we couldn't get uh, the project really working over Ethereum because of our you know business model and the kind of tokens we have right. and all that. So we started working in NEM in January, and yes, uh, we are very happy with this blockchain. Okay, how's that going? How's it functioning and why is that a good option? Yeah, we have different uh, reasons. Most of them are technical reasons. Um, as we have to give uh, students tokens all the time, yes. students, um, we couldn't do it over a public blockchain like Ethereum in real time and with low cost, right? So with name, we have the... Uh, uh, we can build different blockchains. So we, with them, we have a private blockchain with the stud where we consolidate all these internal transactions and this private blockchain is connected to the mainnet, to the public name blockchain through APIs, APIs and webhooks. So this is a model where our token uh, runs very well, mm -hmm. very fast, very cheap, and where we have all the tokenomics model running. How are users responding to this new model? For users, it's absolutely transparent. Uh, the only difference that they have between this new model and the old one is that they are getting rewards. So even, you know, they, uh, they are not going to see the studs they are earning. It's like, you know, something like points, they are earning points. So students are much more motivated, and teachers are, again, much more motivated because they can earn money with more different sources. Mm -hmm. And we solve, or we try to solve, the big problem between employment and education with right. the companies also. So yes, I think we have a business model where we can really change the industry. Mm -hmm. And so moving forward, is there anything that, that you need or what, what are you looking at to acquire? Is it going to be a challenge for you to transfer the students from the traditional website to the new one or acquire new yes. users? Yeah, this is going to be a, a, a slow process because uh, uh, everything in the new platform, you know, it's about tokens, crypto and all that. And we have more than one million students and most of them know nothing still about crypto and tokens, okay? So we think we need at least one year uh, to uh, migrate all the services we hold in the old infrastructure mm -hmm. to the new one. Mm -hmm. Because we are now working in tokenizing all the different services uh, you can have as a student, as a teacher, or as a company. So we think we need just one year to transfer everything, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we'll try to evangelize and to educate students uh, about blockchain, crypto, and all that. Yes, and how do you, that's going to be quite a challenge because it's a whole different thinking, right? So how how do you think you're going to um, do that, or how will you go about? Yeah, that? We, we are starting to have a lot of courses uh, about blockchain, very basic ones how to create a wallet, how to buy your first tokens, your first Ethereum, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yes, we, we are looking all the time for content about crypto, but very basic one. 
because okay. you know, uh, of course, we will be able to have a lot of uh, courses for blockchain developers. Mm -hmm. But the, I think the problem now is that uh, crypto is not still in the mainstream. So we need to educate people in basic things mm -hmm. and uh, step by step, uh, you know, introducing them in the crypto world. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective, the only receive I have is uh, time. Mm -hmm. So we need time to do it. So um, you've spoken about how the student will benefit because they will get rewards. How will the video course um, creator benefit and how will you, how will your company benefit? Yeah, well, with the old platform and like in platforms like Udemy or these classical platforms, uh, content creators uh, earn money just depending on the, on the courses they say, yes. okay? In Tutelus.io, uh, content creators get, get money uh, by the same way, but they can also get money uh, because we, we manage the concept of subscription. So yes. they get money depending on the minutes the users stay in their courses. They also get money because the teachers are users. And if you, Rebecca, are a teacher of blockchain, for example, and you want to help users in other courses different than yours, you can do it and you can get rewards. You, so you have a third revenue source for you. And again, you can earn money because if some of your students, mm -hmm. you are the teacher of blockchain, if some of your students get a future job through the platform, you as a teacher get the 20% of the money that the company pays to tell us to be able to hire the students. Fantastic. So you, That's so different. Yes, you have four different revenue sources and you are more motivated to, to do it well, of course. So in short, you would say that Tutelus is a collaborative learning space where all parties can benefit. Yes. Right? Teachers, students and companies. That's fantastic. Now, I hear you're going to Korea this week. Um, yes. What is that about? Well, next week, uh, there are a lot of events in Korea, blockchain events. This is a Korean blockchain week. So I'm going to present to tell us there to the community. For us, it's very important to create community. We have a very ambitious uh, program we call the Ambassadors Program. Mm -hmm. This is in Tutelus.io. So uh, pre uh, because of the uh, fact that we want to evangelize people, we want to do it also offline. So we are creating a global network of ambassadors. You, Rebecca, could be an ambassador of Tutelus, okay? To be able to create local meetups, local meetings with people in your city. So uh, we are exploring this network now in Korea. And uh, one of my first uh, obligations there is to empower, you know, the local ambassadors uh, to create this network. It's so yes, I will be all next week there. It's really great. I think what you're doing in education is fantastic. It's going to transform lives. And I love the um, idea that you have of, of everybody benefiting in some way and also the focus on you know, less privileged areas, which is a huge yeah. need where there are the means, but there just um, seem to be many costs for students and they want to learn, but there's just, you know, there's no way for them sometimes online. So I love it what you guys are doing. All the best in Korea. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Miguel. I'm Thank Rebecca you. Hope from Block News. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks, everyone.